Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. I am glad to introduce three tip video series. In this series of videos, I'll be introducing three simple but effective tips related with the relevant topic in AutoCAD in 3 minutes. Hope you will like it. But before we proceed further, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on all my future video uploads. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to teach you tips related with layers in AutoCAD. As you are aware, layers are productivity tools in AutoCAD which are used to lessen the complexity of a drawing by systematically organizing various objects. You can also assign various properties such as color, line type, line weight, etc. based on layers. Now I'll introduce you to the first tip. I'll click on layer properties manager. Now in this drawing you can see that there are a number of layers. There is a layer called roof line with the yellow color and this particular line type. Suppose if you want to create another duplicate layer with the same properties with the same color and line type all you have to do is just highlight this layer by clicking and click on the new layer icon in the layer properties manager you can see that a new layer is created with the same properties so i'll call it as sunshade and you can see that the sunshade layer has got the same properties so the simple tip will let you save time now i'll introduce you to the next tip in this drawing i would like to perform some modifications on the wall and as you know all walls are kept in wall layer how will you know that for that take the cursor onto the wall layer and keep it there so the layer in which it is kept will be displayed you can see that it's in the wall layer now i want to freeze all layers except the wall layer so the method is you keep the wall layer active you just keep the wall layer as the current layer next i'll give hyphen la command when you give hyphen la you will get all the options related with layers in the command line now i'll give freeze it will ask you for the layers to be frozen i'll give star star stands for a wild character which means all that means you are asking the software to freeze all layers but you know that the current layer cannot be frozen so the current layer will be kept as such now i'll give enter one more enter now you can see that all layers except the wall layer got frozen now you can comfortably work on the wall layer so this method is a time saver to freeze all layers except the current layer i'll give hyphen la tho t h a w tho means calling the frozen layer back now it'll ask you to tho which layer i'll give star give enter now all layers are back now i'll share with you the next tip related with layers i'll click on layer properties manager and i'll create two new layers i'll click on new and i'll call the first layer as floor 1 and i'll give yellow color for the floor 1 layer and the next layer as floor 2 and i'll assign green color for the floor 2 layer now i'll close the layer dialog box and if i give undo command i'll give u and enter you can see that all the layer operations which i have done got undone in one go all the five layer operations which i have done got undone why is it happening like this if you just check the layer properties manager you can see that all the two layers and the color changes which i have done on the layers got undone in a single stretch why is it happening that's because in the undo command there is a layer option i'll give undo and click on control and click on layer and you can see that combined layer dialog box operation is yes that means all the layer related operations which you perform in the layer palette will get undone in one go so i'll click on no now i'll repeat the same steps i'll go to layer properties manager i'll click on new i'll call the layer as floor 1 and i'll give a color 
and new flow to okay now I'll close this dialog box and if I give undo you can see that only one layer operation got undone not all operations are undone now we'll go to lab properties manager and you can see that we have floor 1 and floor 2 created only the color change which was performed on floor 2 got undone only the most recent layer operation which is performed got undone as per your requirement you can go for a proper setting in the undo command since this being my first video related with tips I would like to give you one bonus tip that's a procedure to remove unused layers there is a single command for that just give purge command and you have a button purge all purge all items and close it now if you check the layer pop-up you can see that all the floor layers and all the unused layers got removed in one go so that's again a time saver otherwise you have to select individual unused layers and right click and delete hope you liked it until i catch you in my next three tip video bye bye and take care thank you so much for your time peace be upon you all